Welcome to Fantasy Meditation. Let's take a comfortable posture. Let's calm our minds from every worries. Let us take a deep breath, inhaling the sweet presence of the divine around you. As we begin this meditation, let us invoke the presence of the most holy trinity by praying the prayer our ancient rishis taught us asatoma sadgamaya may the holy spirit the spirit of truth lead us from falsehood to what is true tamsoma jyotirgamaya may christ the light of the world enlighten our mind and heart Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya May the Father Almighty who raised Jesus from the dead give life to everything that's dead within us Today we will be going to the Sea of Galilee for our meditation Like the saints let us also by locate ourselves though we are here let us take ourselves to the sea of galilee you are now going to enter into a small house along the shore of galilee a poor fisherman along with his wife and his 7 year old boy lives here this son was a long awaited answer to the prayer of this devout couple it is now an evening time as you reach there as you gaze the beauty of this dock of the galilean sea you see few trees standing You see a woman of around about the age of 50. She is collecting firewood from under the tree along with her son. This boy looks young and energetic. He is smart in appearance. He looks around about 7 to 8 years old. Both of them are working hard to collect wood. you can make out that they are talking something and at times laughing in between they seem happy working you wait for a while outside the house as they have finished taking enough wood for the fire they are moving towards the house you see them still talking as they come closer you can make out slowly what they are talking about the boy is inquisitive to know about many things in the neighborhood he asks where does papa go late at night son says the mother your father goes out late at night to do his daily duty of fishing as she enters the house with her son you also enter the house You are now marveling at the beauty of this small house. The mother and her son Jonah are now preparing the fire to make fresh bread. As the fire is set, they pour the dough for cooking. The son breaks the silence to ask a question that was long pestering him. "Mama," he says, "why does papa go for fishing late at night?" 
mama replies it's because that's when the big fish come out but sadly it's been heard that the fish are less these days your father has not been able to get a good catch since 4 days he is sad about not being able to bring home the money to meet our household needs she continues your father works hard day and night most of the nights he is out fishing and during the day he is here to look after the daily household works i don't know where he gets the time to take rest he looks tired these days but his smile that is his regular expression what a joy his face radiates mama breaks in the small boy let us pray to adonai that he might bless papa with a good catch of fish yes my child says the mother god will surely bless us the son says to his mother when i grow up i will surely become like my father he is my role model they continue talking as they do the work after an hour there is a knock at the door of the small cottage jona the small boy runs fast to open the door and to his surprise his father is standing at the door along with three fairly big fish in his hands the son without looking anything jumps into the hands of his father the father is entering the house along with the son sitting on his shoulder the father is sitting now and telling the story of his catch how he got the fish after many unsuccessful trials they cook the fish on the fire and enjoy the food praising god for the beautiful day they rearrange the table and slowly prepare themselves for sleep the father as the head of the house reads out the scripture and all lie down to sleep contrary to every day today the father of the house goes for fishing early in the morning the sun has risen the mother is busy with the household chores there is a knock at the door with which little jona gets up Jona runs fast to check who is at the door and to his surprise his friend Jeremiah who is also of his same age stands at the door You hear Jeremiah speaking There is a great man who has come along here he performs many miracles he heals the sick raises the dead cleanses the leper gives sight to the blind and so on people are crowding around wherever he goes he is now in the hills near to my house shall we go and see him jona is excited to go he runs to seek his mother's permission as soon as he gets the permission he runs to change his dress and freshens up and runs to go out with his friend but his mother stops him and says you didn't have your breakfast my son and i don't know how long you will be back take some bread and some fish that your father brought yesterday taking the bread and fish packed by his mother in his hands he starts walking with his friend you follow them walking jona is now 
narrating the situation at his home to Jeremiah the difficulty of his father to catch fish and how he could get some the day before after 4 days wait Jeremiah interrupts and says so the bread and fish you have now is very precious to you yes agrees Jonah and says i don't know what poor mummy will have for eating as you slowly come closer to the destination you see the crowd growing thicker and thicker jona and jeremiah because of their smaller stature make their way through the crowd to be able to see the man you also follow them after walking for 10 minutes crossing the people and climbing the mountain you reach the center and to your surprise jesus of nazareth is standing just 3 meters ahead of you jona and jeremiah are there beside you as you see a blind man comes out from the crowd and jesus stretches his hands and that very instant the blind receives the sight and shouts for joy as you keep watching you see many crippled many lepers and paralytics coming to jesus to be healed you see that the children are excited you hear jona saying to jeremiah i am sure this is about whom my mother was speaking about this is surely the messiah do jeremiah is not much convinced jona is pretty sure that he is the messiah both their eyes are fixed on whatever jesus is doing jona says there is a divine touch in the way he speaks and performs miracle after a while you see that there is a discussion going on in the crowd jesus is talking to some people you see jona and jeremiah calling out to a person who seems to be the disciple of jesus and asking what is the matter the man replies do you have anything to eat the master needs them Jeremiah whispers to Jonah Don't say anything you didn't have your breakfast till now The fish you have is the hard work of your father But Jonah replies This is not for anyone else but for the Messiah It will surely cost no harm Jonah calls the man and offers the bread and fish and he takes it to Jesus Some people come and ask all to sit down and you see Jesus taking the bread and raising it to heaven and likewise taking the fish Jeremiah whispers Is he going to eat this Jonah is fully immersed in what Jesus is doing After giving thanks Jesus asked the bread and fish to be distributed and to your surprise the bread keeps on multiplying the man who asked the bread and fish from jona comes near him and taps on his shoulder and says well done my boy you did a great job jona and jarmaya are excited to see the bread and fish brought by them eaten by thousands they run home to tell the news to their parents carrying with them baskets of bread and fish let's now come back to where we are let us reflect what are the inhibitions that jona could have had poverty at home his father 
who was not a successful fisher these days his own selfish needs his hunger or three could be his peer pressure his friend jeremiah but when he weighed it at one side and what he experienced at the other side that jesus was the messiah he could not but give away what he had there could still have been a second thought in his mind that could have stopped him from giving away everything what will this great man do with this humble bread and fish he could have belittled his giving but his mind was that of a child for him those small bread and fish were not too small his was a mind that jesus required his mind was childlike our little sister saint therese of lisieux teaches us our lord does not look so much at the greatness of our actions or the difficulty with which we do them as much at the love with which we do them let us reflect on our own lives what do we have to give to jesus what stops me from giving away for jonah it could have been poverty at his home his hunger or the peer pressure what stops me do i be little my offering jesus loves our little offerings to him he does not be little them jonah's five loaves and two fish could feed thousands today millions are waiting for us why not give ourselves at the hands of jesus all that belongs to us so that his name may be glorified let us pray all that i am all that i have i lay them down before you o lord lord i offer my life to you use it for your glory amen